working for you. Como for News starts right now. So what do Lamborghini, Boeing, and the University of Washington have in common? No, they're teaming up to make airplanes and cars run faster, safer, and cheaper. Como for Luke Ducey has the story from the UW campus. <laughs> The sound is seductive. And it means big bucks for UW. Lamborghini is donating a million dollars to the school to make their cars lighter, faster, and safer. What this lab can do is help them um, achieve that. Professor Paolo Ferrabili showed me the lab where his students research the latest technology in carbon fiber materials. Like this machine here and this one over here that stretch carbon fiber in every way that you can imagine to see when it's going to break to how it works by smashing things right into the front end of this actual Lamborghini chassis. And someday this technology will be used to build not only Lamborghinis, but everyday cars, making them lighter and more fuel efficient. After all, for the last few years, they've been helping Boeing find lighter materials for the 787 Dreamliner. They're trying to take what was up until now a specialty material used only for a handful of cars to something that can be used to scale up to small production and eventually mass production. To make it official, the president of Lamborghini brought some of the hottest Lambos with him to UW. Those cars have an aura about them. I mean, they don't, uh, you don't drive by, you arrive. And uh, I could care less. If mine got 50 miles in a gallon, more power to me. Then I put a green sticker on it and keep it pushing. This is as close as many students will come to a supercar. For that, UW says, Molte grazie Lamborghini. Thank you for bringing high-tech jobs to Seattle. Luke Ducey, Como 4 News. Some nice looking machines. The new lab will be completely up and running in the next few months. And if you were wondering just how much one of those Lamborghinis cost, they start at right around $400,000. Delays with the 747-8 freighter are forcing Boeing to record a one-